To the rest of the world, the Lada car may have been an object of ridicule, but in Russia it's been a source of national pride. It was an unofficial symbol of the Soviet Union and today accounts for about a third of all cars on the road. The company that makes the Lada, Avtovas, has been the lifeblood of the central Russian city of Toyati. But the road ahead for this community looks bumpy as sales plummet and production is slashed. The ABC's Moscow correspondent Scott Bevan travelled to Tolyati for this report. Alexei Gaitan is moved by the Lada. I believe this is a car for Russians. It's affordable because it's cheaper than similar makes. And he's not alone in that belief. In his hometown of Tolyati, in Russia's Volga region, Ladas rule the roads. Well, you can see for yourself. That's Tolyati. There are more Ladas here than anywhere else. Tolyati equals Lada. Yes. <laughs> Alexei Gaitan not only drives a Lada, he helps make them. The electrical technician is one of more than 100,000 Tolyati residents who work at Avdavaz, the auto giant that manufactures the Lada. I link my life with Avdavaz. It's where I work, and hopefully I will work there all my life. Ladas have been part of Russian life for two generations. It's been considered the people's car for 40 years. While the Soviet system that helped give birth to Avdavaz has long gone, the company and the Lada have lived on, with some of those early models still trundling about. More than build cars, the factory also created a city. Tolyati owes its existence to Avdavaz, and people came to the new community to build a life for themselves. Gennady Telnov moved to Tolyati in 1968. At that time, the major dream was to launch a factory and to manufacture a car. But materially, for me, there was the opportunity of getting an apartment. He got the apartment and a career working at Avdavaz until he retired in 2004. He met his wife there as well. Their daughter, Anna Telnova, now works at the plant. But the dreams of her father from all those years ago are clouding over. Avdavaz and the Russian automobile industry in general are in trouble. The economic crisis has halved car sales compared with 18 months ago. With demand chopped, Avdavaz is cutting back production by as much as 60%. The factory has stopped producing cars for all of August. Along with so many others from the Tolyati plant, Anna Telnova, who's a sole parent, is on forced leave for the month on two-thirds pay. Yes, it will be tough, very tough. We'll have to give something up. The Avdavaz workshops and factories dotted around Tolyati are, for union official Andrei Lyapin, eerily silent. What do you think of it when you see it like this, so quiet? It's quiet, yeah. And what do you think? Well, I think that, um, yeah, I wonder how long it would last like this. <laughs> because it's unusual. There was a report by the Interfax news agency carrying a precise number of employees to be laid off. 27,691. That's about a quarter of the workforce. Avdavaz has denied it. We just don't know what's coming, and frankly speaking, I'm personally afraid of finding myself among those laid off. The fear of unemployment and the lower salaries are taking their toll, not just on the workers, but all of Tolyati. One in seven residents works at the factory, and then there's all the indirect jobs created by the company being here. So when the wheels stop turning at Avdavaz, Tolyati all but grinds to a halt. Even bridal shops are affected. How was business? Uh, not very well. Uh, the sales go down and don't have money. <laughs> Taxi drivers say they're going nowhere fast. We have to wait here for one or two hours just to drive someone. And everywhere is like that. It's not just us. Everything is standing still. The pain being felt by Avdavaz and the city so reliant on it is hardly limited to Tolyati. Right across Russia, there are towns and cities that have grown up around a single industry or a company. And right now, during the economic downturn, many of those communities are suffering. And that's a concern to the federal government. So Moscow is looking out for any instances of economic hardship in the regions flaring into social unrest. Prime Minister Vladimir Putin had to fly to the community of Pikalova near St. Petersburg in June 
to push the main factories in town to reopen after hundreds of residents staged a sit-in protest on the main highway. The voices of frustration are rising. About 2,000 attended a rally in Tolyati in early August, protesting the production and pay cuts at Abdavaz and calling for the enterprise to be nationalised. Union official Andrei Lyapin denies that nationalisation would be a step back into Avdavaz's Soviet past. Rather, he says the government has to take charge to restructure the company and ensure it's viable. Nationalisation means that uh, something should be more important than the profit. And we believe that people of Tliati and workers of Avdavaz are more important. The people of Tolyati can't imagine their city without Avdavaz. And those who work at the factory can't imagine where they'd be without Avdavaz. Nor can they imagine the larder disappearing from Russia's roads. What a thought. Scott Bevan with that report.